here we are uh, in my ham shack and we're going to test my new RF watt meter. I uh, have it calibrated here. Uh, you probably will see in the other video how I made this. I ended up going with about an 8K resistor and it uh, works really well. Measures 1 amp at 50 uh, watts in the 50 ohm dummy load. So here's the situation I have here, which is kind of why I built it. I'm getting some really strange uh, common mode currents on these coaxes and I'm not sure what's happening here. So I'll try to describe all this here. So this is the, the common feed to the amplifier, to my radio. The amplifier is bypassed, so I'm running a 100 watts on 160 meters. And this is my inverted L that goes out to uh, my 80 and 160 uh, inverted L, 160 meters. So if I put my new uh, RF current meter on there and I key down, I have a foot pedal here, I key down, uh, you'll see there's some current being measured here. Uh, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. Uh, but just by itself, it's about 100 milliamps. But I also have my sloper out there, my SG235 tuner, which is on opposite tree. And it has a sloper that slopes up to the front tree somewhat parallel to my inverted L for 160, the horizontal portion, but not much. Uh, but here's the interesting thing. When I hook this one back up to the antenna switch, even though I don't have it selected, I'm on selection three and not the inverted or not the sloper. Uh, look how much current uh, I end up drawing. So there's ranges between half an amp and 0.6 amps uh, on, through my 160 meter. Uh, coax. So I don't know why that is. This is my new clamp. Seems to work pretty well. Somewhat. I like it. Whoops. So if I put it on the uh, sloper, make sure it's on there real good. So I'm reading about the same current uh, as I'm reading through the 160 uh, meter inverted L right there. So yeah, about a half amp. I'm not sure why that is. So uh, what I'll do is I'll disconnect it and uh, that's what's really weird. And the current pretty much goes away, or most of it. There's still about 100 milliamps here. But here's the interesting thing. Look at this. If I just ground it, a key up, it only moves it up another almost 100 milliamps. Not that 500 milliamps. Same with the center conductor. It doesn't do anything. And then even if I get a clip lead and short this out, short the center conductor with the ground or with the outer shield, doesn't seem to affect it either. So that's the bizarre part. It's only when uh, it's connected to this box. And I don't know why that is because I don't think they ground the center pin uh, when you're not on that selection, but maybe they do. But even if I put just a center pin, And I hook it back up. Bam. There's that five uh, half an amp. I don't understand it. Okay, moving on here. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that. So for now, I'll just take that off and let him flop out of the way. So we still have 100 milliamps there. And let's see where that's going. So this is the feed to the radio, the center one, the common. Okay, we'll put this uh, new clamp probe on there, make sure it's good and snug and closed. Okay, basically nothing. So nothing common mode current wise is traveling toward the radio. I still have uh, about 100 milliamps going through my inverted L coax for 160 and 80. So let's try this. I have a center, or I have a 14 AVQ vertical that's out here beside me on the shed. And let's see what happens there. So there's no current there, uh, that, which is that antenna is closer to the inverted L. So now I have the 20 and 40 meter uh, dipole, fan dipole on the house, on the chimney on the front of the house. And its legs are somewhat parallel with the horizontal top hat of the 80 or the 160 meter inverted L. And there it is. There's the 100 milliamps there. So I'm not sure what that is doing. So that 100 milliamps there is basically the same as the 100 milliamps we saw on the 160 meter feed line. OK, 
okay but it's not going through uh, to the feed to the main radio okay so let's disconnect that one here and then we'll see what kind of currents we got here so this connected the uh, uh, fan dipole okay there's just a little bit going toward the radio and let's see if there's any currents on the shield for the 160 inverted L uh, yeah it's almost uh, 100 milliamps 75 milliamps and does that equal what's going through the radio no it does not which means the rest of it now is traveling through the vertical so we'll go on the vertical uh, that's really strange nothing to measure so we have a disparity there I don't understand that so there's uh, 75 milliamps coming down on the coax of the inverted L for 160 and 80 and going toward the radio well, there's basically nothing so that is really weird so let's disconnect the vertical so that the only thing we have is the inverted L for 160 and 80 and there we go so let's see what do we have here so we have oh there's a hundred milliamps now okay going through to the radio 100 milliamps exactly see if that's the same whoops that's going through my 160 should be current's the same in a series circuit so it says Kirchhoff okay so there's 100 milliamps coming down common mode of current I'm not sure why that is so uh, I don't know maybe there's just uh, I got a bunch of balance out there I don't know what's going on so just to uh, Ah, boy, that's pretty tight. Let's see here. What we could do is uh, put some cores in here. A couple of, I don't know if I have any here or not. Uh, but anyway, let's put a barrel connector in here and just make sure the switch isn't doing anything weird. I don't suspect that it is. Uh, let's just put this uh, in here like this. Now, this is kind of a silly experiment here. And we just got the. Uh, feed from the amplifier which goes over to the radio going right out to my 160 meter inverted L 160 and 80 so put my new clamp on here if I can get it on there we go and what do we have same 100 milliamps roughly give or take and over on here same thing yep same thing okay so I don't know what's going on I'll uh, review the video map all this out and see if I can't figure out what kind of uh, interaction is going on here and what to do about it if anything so we'll see you guys later